Uh, thank you so much for coming uh, this early in the morning. Uh, this is to announce that uh, our first COVID vaccine, AstraZeneca, Oxford COVID-19 vaccine, also called COVID Shield, has just been granted emergency use authorization by NAVDAC. The use of AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 vaccine, a recombinant adenoviral vector encoding the structural surface, glycoprotein antigen of SARS-CoV-2, was given an approval for emergency use listing by WHO on Monday. February 15, 2021, the WHO's emergency use listing assesses the quality, safety, and efficacy of COVID-19 vaccines and is a prerequisite for COVAX facility vaccine supply. It also allows countries to expedite their own regulatory approval to import and administer COVID-19 vaccines. The emergency use listing will allow Nigeria to receive the first batch of the vaccine from COVAX facility within weeks, subject to approval by NAVDAC. And the announcement we are making today, this morning, is that NAVDAC has approved uh, the COVID-19 AstraZeneca vaccine uh, for emergency use authorization. COVAX, the vaccine's pillar of the access to COVID-19 tools or ACT accelerators jointly led by Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization, Gavi, the Coalition of Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, CEPI, and the World Health Organization, meaning COVAX is made up of four entities to make COVAX facility. Its aim is to accelerate the development and manufacture of COVID-19 vaccines and to guarantee fair and equitable access for every country in the world. COVAX is also poised to ensure that 92 eligible low middle income countries get access to COVID-19 vaccines through Gavi. Nigeria is one of the eligible countries. National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control has been preparing for COVID-19 vaccines and vaccination since the early phase of the pandemic around April 2020. NAVDAC was positioned to a great extent to work online during the pandemic or during the lockdown due to digitalization of many of our processes and continuous improvement on that. During this period, global meetings were held continuously with focus on understanding the disease itself and the advent of the vaccines. The Director General has been meeting every other week with International Coalition of Medicine Regulatory Authorities, ICMRA, while DG and respective directors and staff have been meeting with WHO, African Medicine Regulatory Harmonization, uh, Continental, and then regionally the West African version, West African Health Organization, and AVAREF, that is the clinical group uh, that is located uh, in the, in, at the Secretary at WHO. The agency established COVID-19 Vaccine Committee and has been very, very busy developing guidelines and guidance. NAVDAC is the first national regulatory agency in Africa to have guidance on regulatory preparedness for emergency use authorization, licensing, or access 
to COVID-19 vaccines. And the link is on our website. The guidance addressed many regulatory issues, including the following, submission of dossiers by manufacturers and market authorization holders. Without the dossier submitted and reviewed like we did uh, over the last uh, many days, actually, uh, Nigeria can never get vaccine uh, imported or supplied to us. But thank God that we had the first dossier from AstraZeneca uh, Serum Institute of India about a week ago, and our staff have been working around the clock. The guidance also uh, provides assessment of the dossier through or information about the assessment of the dossier through different mechanisms and using the common technical document for rolling submission. When a vaccine is approved by a stringent regulatory country like US, Canada, UK, and so on, that vaccine can get expedited review. If it is also listed by WHO, as the case is with this AstraZeneca uh, COVID shield vaccine, it can also get expedited review for emergency use authorization. So that is what, that is the mechanism that we have used emergency use, for emergency use authorization. Uh, we got the, well, we got the dossier last year, last, last week, sorry. Uh, NAVDAC received the AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 vaccine dossier from Serum Institute of India. The AstraZeneca uh, Oxford vaccine is actually, was actually uh, manufactured in Europe. And then it was licensed to Serum Institute of India. And it is from Serum Institute of India that we got our dossier uh, on February 10, 2021, which was last week. The NAVDAC Vaccine Committee commenced the expedited review immediately, and the members of the committee have worked assiduously to ensure that the review was done as planned. The recommendation for emergency use authorization of COVID-19 vaccine from AstraZeneca or through Serum Institute, it is also called COVID Shield, uh, was based on rigorous scientific considerations as summarized uh, below. One, vaccine quality. We have to ascertain that the vaccine has quality. The manufacturer uh, was the first to look at. The active substance is manufactured and controlled by Serum Institute of India, uh, India Private Limited, that's the name of the company. A GMP certificate and manufacturing license issued by the Indian National Regulatory Authority has been presented and found to be authentic and valid. The dose pack and storage. The vaccine is made in, as a multi-dose via for two doses or 10 doses, and it can be stored between uh, two to eight degrees centigrade, which means it can be stored at the type of uh, environment that is suitable for us in Nigeria, which is the freezer environment and storage. The, va the, ma the vaccine is manufactured as a multi-dose pack, either two doses or 10 doses per vial, and it can be stored at two to eight degrees centigrade, which is an, uh, a temperature that is suited for our own environment. It's a freezer temperature, our regular freezer temperature. One dose of it is 0 0.5 mil. In terms of how long it can keep stability data, the applicant has proposed a drug product shelf life, 
meaning how long it can stay on the shelf in the freezer. The freezer is the shelf now. It can stay there for six months. We also looked at vaccine safety and efficacy. This is extremely important because safety and efficacy are premium to us as regulatory agency, NAVDAC. Our goal is to safeguard the health of our people. So we looked at their data and from the phases two and three conducted, COVID shield was found safe and well to tolerated in adults above 18 years old. The incidence of solicited or unsolicited adverse events or serious adverse events was comparable in the study control. No causality related serious adverse events was caused by the study vaccine. We looked at so many other things, but I just want to bring up the pharmacovigilance or safety monitoring after marketing, after, you know, when it gets to this country. Pharmacovigilance of COVID-19 vaccine. Safety of the vaccine is premium to NAVDAC, and a lot of efforts are being put into this regulatory function. The agency initiated multi-stakeholder collaboration with National Primary Health Development Agency, Nigeria Center for Disease Control, UNICEF, Gavi, WHO, and Ministry of Health. The focus is to use a holistic approach for the effective immunization or delivery of the vaccines, that is by primary health, and monitoring of any side events following immunization. That this will be done with NAVDAC and primary health and NCDC. The multi-stakeholder technical working group have been, has been working since October last year to address different issues from access to distribution to even track and trace uh, on where the vaccines go. And also to monitoring of adverse events following immunization, just like I said earlier. The agency will be using its recently launched Med Safety app for active pharmacovigilance of the vaccines in collaboration with the sister agencies that I've mentioned. The app is free and millions of healthcare workers can download it for free in order to report adverse drug reactions after immunization. In country training on the use of the app of the app rather has begun for healthcare workers. NAVDAC also plans to use the traceability with GS1 technology to monitor the vaccine distribution using global trade item number or GTIN. This is to prevent fake vaccines from infiltrating the supply chain and to ensure that there is no diversion. The effort will create a reliable and predictable supply chain. At the continental level, NAVDAC is on the Regulators Steering Committee of African Union Smart Safety Surveillance Group with Ghana, South Africa, and Ethiopia. The committee was formed as a preparatory caucus for safety monitoring of vaccines, but using COVID-19, for safety monitoring of medicines generally, but using COVID-19 vaccine as a pilot. Thank you very much. <laughs>